All right, Flight Buds here. Today we have the Quantum V1 goggles with some serious modification. So here they are, the Quantum V1 goggles. This is Hobby King's first uh, cheap uh, goggles. Inside here they have a screen. You have a Fresnel lens so that you get the full uh, experience of just the screen and not see the whole box on the edge. But this one is quite a bit different than when you stock buy it. This one actually is totally ready to go. All you need to do is plug up a battery and you're receiving signal instantly. What I've actually done is modified this so that right here is my receiver, my FPV receiver. All my wires are back here and everything. So it's like, here's the antenna, the battery connector's right here, and you're good and go. So uh, what I actually did was 3D printed a cover, which I will link to in the description, and uh, I 3D printed it. I then took all my wires and cut them down like dramatically. I have probably six ounces or seven ounces worth of wire just like that I cut down. So these wires that were three and a half, four feet long are now four inches long. Um, so then I soldered it all back together, which that was a little bit interesting. I then also inside where the screen is, I then took off the back piece of the LCD screen to give me a little bit more room, which that helped dramatically. Even then, it was still very, very tight. So I had to push wires in, and as of right now, I've just glued it down. So there's a nice glue seam on all these edges. Um, and here you can see I've actually plastidipped the antenna. Um, and all I did was just bought some plastidip from Walmart. I think it was like $5 for a can. Just spray painted it on. It went on really easy. I'll probably end up doing the connectors and the connector for the battery too. And I'll actually even dedicate one battery to it and just plastic dip that whole thing. Um, it's it, very nice. It makes it look like this was almost uh, white. And it only takes a couple minutes to dry. But So I spray painted it and now it looks like it, like it goes with the color scheme. So uh, then here I have control of my... Uh, some pibs to change the channel on the receiver. This is uh, Hobby King's super cheap FPV setup. I think it was like $50 for the transmitter receiver for the 5.8 gigahertz one. Um, so everything else is basically stock except for the head mount also. I took a GoPro head mount, put that on. Um, all I had to do was, it was already kind of pre-cut right here. So I just cut that, opened more, ran the GoPro strap through there, Ran it on each side, glued it in, and uh, this works so much better. This is extremely comfortable to wear. So like while you're flying, you know, it's really good. The only other modification I'll do in the future is going to be better foam around here. For now it works, but I would like something that's really soft so that then you don't even feel it, if you wanna say, when it's on you. But uh, for an all in all solution, I put maybe, six hours worth of soldering and figuring out which wires goes to what into this and um, I think personally it turned out amazing if you've been following me on Instagram for the like the last couple weeks or so I've been posting pictures about this you know building it and stuff like that so go check me out on Instagram at flight buds uh, that's buds with a Z and uh, we post pictures there very regularly. So uh, yeah, that's just kind of like an overview of the modifications I've done to the, to the Quantum V1 goggles. Uh, I actually don't like the V2 goggles only because they have that huge silicone thing so it gets, it adds weight onto it. And it also kind of looks a little bit tacky compared to like this one is just, you know, it was like $30 for the foam with the screen and all that. It was another $5, I think, 5 or $10 for the strap. Whatever receiver you put in here, and then you're up and going. So, you know, I'm in this maybe like 70 bucks now, 80 bucks by the time you get receiver, goggles, and then the head strap. And this head strap works amazing. The nice thing with this compared to my ground station I had before, if you've seen the build video on that, is it, it took like five or ten minutes just to set up so you want to go burn one or two batteries through your mini quad it took a very long time to set up and so by the time you put in the batteries and full on and then you had to tear back down you took more time putting up tearing down 
than it even took to fly. So this is just a super simple solution. You plug up the battery and you're up and going. Really enjoy it. If you uh, have any questions about how I did this, just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys there. So thanks for watching. See you next time.